So, if you remember the Origins 50 Perks video, in the intro I actually mentioned that I tried to do it on town, but it did not work. But I've managed to fix it, as you can see we have uh, completely custom perks, that's actually like Jug and another perk in the same machine, which is weird. But yeah, we're playing town, we're gonna have 50 plus perks. Hopefully. Some of the perks are like fine, they move every single round. Like if we come over here for example, you know, we've got stamina up and whatever this is just kind of melded together, which is very strange, but I did get 200 points for lying down by that, like double it, which is nice. Um, So, double points, huge, oh yeah, we go. So yeah, the perks will just randomly change into something else. So now it's whatever that is. And then this is Jug, actual Jug, okay. Can we just appreciate how beautiful this town remastered map is? Seriously, it's one of the best aesthetically looking like remasters on BO3 that I've seen from the custom community. Yeah, I just have to say, seriously, thank you all so much for the support on that Origins video. Like it's kind of surreal because it hit 300,000 views the other day, which is just... I don't exactly have words for that. It's the fastest growing video I think I've ever had, like even faster than the Plants vs Zombies video, which is just like nuts. Also, I just realized we didn't get Jug before it moved because we have actually like 48 perks in the rotation, but each perk can be upgraded once, which is really cool. Also, if you couldn't tell, I'm actually a bit better now. I'm no longer sick, which is great because uh, yeah, it was ruining my commentary. Swarm Scotch, occasional headshots and reloading and empty clips spawns a friendly swarm of insects. Oh yeah, that one. Very strange. We have the Wonder Fizz, but I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, I think the Wonder Fizz is glitched and it only gives you perks from like the regular map, which is strange. I could be wrong. They may have fixed it, but if you want to play this mod for yourself and this custom map, of course, both will be linked down in the description below. What perk have we got in here? Zomb shell? I'm good. I'm going to open this door because I want to... Hello? <laughs> randomly blocking me. Galvanuckles are of course 6,000, but we're looking for a perk called Point Crusher, which basically blaze phase. I'm good. Point Crusher will allow us to get everything much easier because it just means you don't need as many points or you earn more. I don't know. I don't actually remember what Point Crusher does, but we now have 6,000 points as well. So we can buy Galvanuckles, which is huge. All right. What perk's going to be here? Huh? Quick revive. I'm guessing it's not. Wait, no, it actually is. <laughs> this, this is the regular quick revive spot as well. That was funny. I thought I was being big. The nice thing about Galvanuckles as well is the fact that I'm pretty sure well, on Black Ops 2 they didn't, but if you melee a zombie, it will not explode if it's a fire zombie. Oh, it does. That's so sad. That would have been nice if they kept that, but whatever. Big whoop. It's still OP. I think it one shots until what, like round 13 or something? So I guess we'll buy Quick Revive just to uh, make sure we don't lose out on any uh, any perks. Uh, down is Delight. Double bleed out time and hold primary weapon when down. You know, that's not bad, but like it's not necessarily needed. Holy shit. Point build up. Bro, 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 what happened to this one zombie? Headless, but on his knees still. I mean, fair enough. What have we got here? Oh, cashback cocktail. Wait, we definitely want to get that. Get 20% back on any purchase. Oh, but I don't have enough. Maybe I can lay down by enough perks or something. Oh, there's no way. If I shoot in the legs enough? No, I don't have to run out of ammo. That's actually so sad because that would be a really good perk to get. Still, it's fine. No biggie. By this door, so we have access to whatever this is going to be. Fighters Fizz. Keep your gun when you go down. We've got Victorious Tortoise. Vulture Raid. Okay. Vulture Raid would also be nice because you do get the tiny little uh, point drops on the floor, which is cool. Uh, oh, we got a free perk. Nice. Is that Banana Colada? I think it is. Yep, yep, yeah, that's definitely banana clutter. Oh, I just love this Galvanical sound, man. Every single melee just the thwack sound. Okay, we've got to be careful not to go down here. Oh, I keep sliding everywhere. I don't want to die or uh, don't want to kill the last zombie. Magnet Margarita. Power-ups will move towards the nearest player. Mm, interesting. Miracle Hands Mocker. Dude, these names are so good. Speed up equipment speed and can change power-ups up to three times. Oh, that's the one. That's cool. Maybe we could get perks from that, potentially. I mean, screw it. Let's buy it. I mean, why not? So the next power-up we get, we can like swap it out, I guess. It's so cool seeing all the custom icons as well, bro. Oh, <laughs> Pick Revive is back. Nuka Cola, which is definitely a Fallout reference, by the way. It sets off a nuke power-up when downed. Pretty useful, actually. Like, if you just get totally screwed, especially on a co-op game, that would be massive because it just allows a free revive, pretty much. Like, no worrying about training around and stuff. Fighters Fizz over here now. Oh, I got a nuke. <laughs> <laughs> Typical. Oh, here we go. So we've got the death machine. Can I change power up? Insta kill, carpenter, and double points. I'll happily take a double. Dude, that's such a cool perk. What the fuck? Gonna buy this door. What do we got in here? Zomb shell. What? <laughs> what is happening to the zombie model? 
Bro, he's getting stretched. This is not normal. This, oh my, what? look at the head, bro. What? <laughs> no, this is, this is the stuff of nightmares, man. This is like some Japanese horror type shit. Oh, we got another free perk, nice. <laughs> What did we get? Oh, we got a bandolier bandit and it gave us more ammo. That's actually really nice. Oh, let's go cashback cocktail. So yeah, every purchase now will give us a slight like a bit of money back, which is cool. And we can double buy it, meaning we get even more cashback. So now 30% don't die please. Oh, okay, good. So yeah, 30% of whatever the perk costs or whatever we buy will just go right back to us, which is great. Oh, and we got point crusher. Oh, this is massive. So yeah, earn additional points per kill. We need 4,000 points this round. No matter what, that's our number one goal. Dude, that is, that is horrifying. Well, here we go. We are almost set up now. Oh, and we even got double points. Nah, there's no way. It's just, oh, it's just a free win, baby. Literally exactly what we needed. Now to uh, not die to the explosions, please. Three and a half thousand, like these two kills, and then we got it. Yep, there we go. Trouble is, we want to double buy it, but I don't know how much it's going to cost. Um, oh, max ammo, nice. Ooh, go oh, no! Oh, you're serious? How did I get double swiped like that, bro? Genuinely, how? I don't, I don't understand. What even happened there? I mean, oh, it's not the end of the world. That was me not respecting the explosions, I guess. Oh, God, dude. It's fine. We could buy it again. Well, at least we didn't lose it this time. Oh, God, don't die. Ethereal Razor. Okay. I mean, that would actually be really good with Galva Knuckles. That's so sad, though, because we double bought the stupid thing. Oh, so many points to waste. But yeah, as you can see, every kill we get now, that's like 130 plus 30, 130 plus 40. 130 plus 40. We're just getting so many more points. Double buy is only 3,000, but you get a chance for more points, basically. Okay. I'm going to quickly have a look, see if we can find... It. Maybe Quick Revive will be around here. No, nah, it's Stone Cold Stronghold. Tragic. That's what I get, though. I should really get a gun. I should... I'm going to just buy a gun from the box and just whatever I get, you know, it'll be nice. We have got the Razor back in there. Bolt Ice Blast. Oh, this is the double jump one. I mean, it's, it's nice and all. Snipe. Yeah, just like extra points for every single kill. Cannot complain at all. Oh, God, nuke. Let's, let's not pick that up unless we get in uh, serious trouble. Because, yeah, it's not just melee kills now. It's every kill. So uh, definitely helps. We can just snipe the uh, the fiery bastards from afar. All right, what's around? We got elastic elixir sprinting cause an electric charge. The only downside is now we can't just freely get the perks that are normally on the map. Because boy, oh boy, would I love to get like double tap right now or jug there is this door to get to the wonder fizz but it's 2500 so it's like we could buy a couple perks for that you know all right i'm going for another spin of the box because we need something an rpg that is not what i would call useful right now i mean if we had phd maybe god this is just this is not what i need oh almost blowing myself up please don't do that i got a five seven i do i mean i remember using the uh Dual 5.7s and the regular one, almost dying. Ignore that. We did like three of the exact same gun on this map. If I was a good year ago now, actually. Oh, is that a ray gun? I think it is. I'd love to pick it up if we could uh, just get through here. There we go. Boom, ray gun. We got a perk. Oh, <gasps> wait, we, we, we literally got the cashback cocktail perk. We literally got the perk that we lost. I mean, it's not double bought, sure, but oh, that's so good. Okay, let's go have a look around the map, see what else we can get. I'm not seeing anything necessarily worth buying. Let's just end the round. It's nice. If I stand here, I can see all three of these perks as they spawn in. So we've got Vigor Rush again. Neither of these and what I want. Um, Well, actually, Fighter's Fizz would be really good because if we do go down, we get a kill and we revive ourselves. So I'm hoping that counts for if we don't have quick revive oh shit bro this milk perk has been in this corner so much chain electric melee stabs i mean i already have an electric melee so uh i'm kind of all right you know oh god there's, there's quite a few zombies i need speed cola actually that would be a pretty good investment here i don't want to die to the splash damage this is genuinely really stressful i'm not gonna lie <laughs> feels like i'm playing cause and effects every single round of different perks like changing around the map but it's nice and all but time slip i don't want time slip man what's in this corner is that stamina up no, it's miracle hands i mean i do like th the switching perks thing is actually really cool what's the double buy um won't change to carpenters or nukes mm -hmm. 
Hmm, okay. That's actually really good then, because we could basically just guarantee we get um double points or like maybe perks even. Oh my god, Jug is here. Let's go. That is actually literally the best perk we could get. And we get an extra hit as well if we buy it again. Thank the Lord, bro. I was genuinely quite worried for a minute because we <laughs> no Jug, no Quick Revive would have been terrible. And look, Point Grush is back and we can double buy it. So now we get even more points for every kill. And this is PhD Slider, so... I mean, I kind of prefer PhD Flopper, because I think both are on the map, but we do have a ray gun. So it would be in our best interest to consider buying it, even though it is 4,000 points, which is bloody expensive for PhD. I mean, I know it's for Slidey one, but Christ. All right, change it again. What is it? A death machine. <laughs> That perk is so good. Sorry if my commentary's not, like, super amazing. I still, like, I've got the sniffles a bit. I'm feeling way better than I was before, though. I've also been away for, like, about a week, so <laughs> returning and recording instantly. Oh, crap. Oh, no, never mind. It's fine. We already bought Point Crusher. But we didn't get PhD. That was that was why I was like, oh, eh, it's fine. I mean, we're all right for now. Tactica, uh, Firewall Sprinting. Multi-kills grant bonus points. I almost died then. Christ above. I mean, if multi-kills grant bonus points, I'll actually pick it up then. Depends what counts as a multi-kill. All right, let's have a look. I mean, we're, we're getting so many points from just like all the shots that we're doing. So like, yeah, we're, we're at 5,000. So I can't exactly complain. Now we're at 6,000. And all I'm doing is shooting the regular ray guns. So, you know. Oh, God, that was close. What does the double buy do? Higher chance to regain ammo. Kill streak rewards are doubled. Kill streak rewards? I mean, I'll take the regaining ammo. That's nice. So I've got 15 shots. One, two, three. I, I can't tell if I'm... Am I getting any more ammo back? I don't think so, but I suppose it's the fort that counts, isn't it? So what's this? Madgaz Moonshine? Uh, that's just for slidey thingy. What the hell is this perk? I see you. Faster health regen. Okay. I see you, if I remember correctly, is very, very good. We got double points. Oh god, yes. I really want double tap, man. Hey, crawler. I just reloaded, bro. Maybe I need speed color as well. What we got here? Downer's Delight, double bleed out time. Again, I don't know how good that's going to be solo. Oh yeah, the Galvanuckles aren't one hitting anymore. That's um not ideal. I think I actually need to go for a spin of the box here. Who knows? I just I just want something like a python. Yeah, sure. Why not? Well, you see, this would be really good if I had double tap and if I had speed color because this reload is not the best. I should have tried to swap out the insta kill for um what's it called? A max ammo or something, I guess. It's fine, though. We've got more perks on the map now. What are we going to get here? Fighter's Fizz. Keep Fighter's Fizz when reviving. Losing the double buy. Interesting. Okay. Point Crusher again. We've already got that. We still need that cashback cocktail, uh, the second buy, because that would also be really, really good. But at least we're getting some money back when we're making purchases like uh, Vigor Rush. Sure, let's buy that. Change Choose from Infinite Warfare. Let's go. For this one, headshots, yeah, explosions and elements. So it's basically like, kind of like elemental pop in a way, but I'm not really gonna be getting many headshots with uh, with a ray gun. Ooh, a max ammo, that's actually quite good. As much as I'd like to swap it out for a potential perk, never mind, we just got every drop in existence. I got Ice Ball, I think. Wow, that <laughs> that series of drops was perfect. You know what? Screw it. We have so many points. Let's just let's just buy the uh, the Wonder Fizz. I feel like it just makes the most sense now. What we got? We got Widow's Wine. Not bad. Oh no, that's Electric Cherry. Oh, PhD Flopper. There we go. Raygun is no longer a death trap. I don't know why there's no PhD icon, but there isn't. Um, stamina up. I think PhD. That's what the one was glitching. There was a, an icon that was glitching uh, in the previous in the Origins video, and I was wondering what it was, and it must have been the regular PhD then. Because yeah, it just doesn't appear, but all the other perks seem to be appearing. Very strange. Still though, I mean, just having PhD is so nice. We got banana colada. Oh yeah, here we go. Carpenter, turn it into a double points. That's just OP, man. See, now I'm actually understanding what the perks do. We're like, why is that zombie in the floor? I don't know. <laughs> why are they dropping in the floor? But it's just, it, it goes so much smoother because I actually like, well, I know what I'm doing, you know? What a concept. I'm going to pack a punch the ray gun. It uh, costs 5,000. We got 1,000 back. Not bad. Boom, boom. Give me that. Oh my God. And PhD. Oh, it gets rid of the fire. That's so good. The best perk in existence. Let's go. Who doesn't love PhD, man? Like, even on custom maps, it's, it's king. Right, last perk I'll check is up here. Oh, it's Speed Cola. Let's go. Uh, let's actually get the double buy because we get more bullet damage after reloading for a very short time. Whoa, just this random gap of death down here. What is... Oh my god. Have I never noticed that before? Okay, so we have a death machine. Turns into a nuke. 
turns into a carpenter, but the very last one will never be a nuke or a carpenter. So it's a double points. Just amazing, man. Just absolutely amazing. Let's just, let's just see a regular shot. That was like 100 plus 20 plus 20. Obviously, we have double points, but that's just so good, man. This point crusher thing is OP. We also have a nuke. I kind of want to see what we can turn it into. Oh, we got a free perk. Amazing. Amazing. What did we get? Some kind of... Oh, is that nuke a cola? It looks like it. What's this? Perk range is doubled. Oh, ice ball blast. Eh, you know, it's, it's okay, but... I think we'll leave one zombie and we'll try and get as many perks as we can this round because, you know, they only cost 1,500. Let's try not to end the round. We've got 10 zombies left. I keep forgetting there's a literal zombie counter at the top of my screen. That would be helpful. Oh, God. Yeah, see, we've got one zombie left. No! Trick Cherry killed him. Oh, that's just typical. It's fine. Get some spins in. What we got? Actual Widow's Wine. Nice. Apparently, although there's no icon. What? Like, well, I don't know why the Wonder Fizz on this map is just so glitched, but we got double tap. That's huge. I was really looking forward to getting double tap because we need it. We got Mule Kick. Oh, a double points and almost downing. Thank God we have that extra hit from the uh, the double buy jug. Oh, double tap is shredding. Keep fighters fizz. Sure, I'll just buy it again. I suppose there's no reason not to, is there? Uh, oh, a max ammo. See, we don't necessarily need the ammo, though, but I mean, I'll, I'll actually keep this one because um, I'll just spam, you know? Boom. Oh, we got another free perk. Hell yes. What's this one going to be? Oh, Victorious Tortoise. What? <laughs> There's no shield on this map. Quite unfortunate. A double points. I'll take it. And now we have one zombie left. And can I please not accidentally kill it? So, what's around the map? Tactiquila, already got it. Madgaz Moonshine. I mean, the sliding thing's cool, but Victorious Tortoise again. Double the shield max health. <laughs> That's so useless. I'll get the... I'll get Madgaz Moonshine. Sure, why not? God, my screen. Just explosions and explosions. Nitrogen cooled. Nearby zombies will slow down. I mean... That's pretty nice. Oh, look at that, dude. Uh, range of effect is further. Why is he floating now? I don't know. But that's a really good perk. That would be great for like an Easter egg or something, you know? PhD slider, even though we already have PhD flopper. Why not have two? <laughs> Longer slide, damage increase with slide length. Sure, we'll double buy it. Go for another wonder fizz. Zombie slow, so I mean, we might as well just uh, take our time. See, that's the thing. I keep getting Widow's Wine bottles. Oh, it's actually Widow's. Oh, my bad. I thought I was getting trolled again. Deadshot. Yeah, so we seem to only get the regular perks from the Wonder Fizz, which is fine because, you know, they're changing every round. We have plenty of opportunity to get them. What's this one? That one was nothing. So I think we've reached the point of uh, we can't get any more perks from that. I don't know why the zombie is glitched up there, but uh, let me just... There we go. Prestige Master level 92. Let's go. I get a lot of questions asking me how I'm leveling up and stuff in zombies on custom maps and mods and stuff. I am using the boy client. It's no longer publicly available, but the reason that I use it... What is this perk again? Active gun slowly regenerates ammo. Cool. But the reason I use it is for stability and frame rate improvements while recording. That's literally it. Because I want the quality of the video to be as smooth as possible just because, you know, I don't want you guys watching a slideshow because BO3 on Steam is very unstable like there are a lot of just frame rate issues all the time Ooh, phd slider again <laughs> the other one that means there's three phds on this map because i think town remastered comes with a phd as well which is just hilarious uh i mean i'll double buy victorious because why not the inner collector in me wants to uh, wants to just get as many as possible ethereal razor would be nice we've already got speed cola because if i get ethereal razor i can get more points and obviously galva knuckles will be a one hit again we've got madgaz moonshine sure slide charges is now 30 whatever that means I'll, I'll buy blood bullets and it will occasionally affect wonder weapons like by just giving you ammo back if i buy it again that is insanely good so if i just sit here with my ray gun i'm assuming the ray gun counts as a wonder weapon right so i have 40 plus 112 on the bottom right it just changed from 41 14 like that's so good just running around yep 41 1, that's actually massive. Oh, speaking of Ethereal Razor, uh, we need 500 more points, but that's fine. And what we got here, Blaze Phase, Crouching. See, I actually have my crouch unbound, like I'm pressing C right now, it doesn't let me crouch. And then if I press Control, it makes me lay down. The reason I do that is because every time I press C, I would sometimes accidentally crouch instead of sliding on BO3. 
So I literally just unbound it to make it so that I always ca can only slide if I press C. So it will never like accidentally make me crouch, you know? It's a nice little thing to do, but obviously when you have the niche things like, oh, you need to crouch to activate this perk. I physically cannot do that. I think there's a way I can like lay down and then all of a sudden I'll be able to uh, start like, I don't know, crouching a bit or something, but it just gets a bit finicky, you know? Dude, this, this perk that's slowing down all the zombies, it's so broken. There's no cooldown. So like every single zombie that comes near me is just super slow. It's so OP. I shouldn't have picked up that death machine. I should have uh, tried to swap it out, I guess, but whatever. Ethereal Razor. What does double buying it do? It greatly increases damage even more. So this will be a one hit. Oh, it replaced my Galva Knuckles with the Widow's Knife. Are you serious? Ah, uh, whatever. I didn't get that perk in time. It will tombstone screw it why not for the sake of the video what does the double buy do keep all perks in shadow form and drop a stash of all perks and weapons that doesn't seem too bad we've got point crusher again which is nice and all but i actually need the other one which is a cashback cocktail that would be really really useful because i could actually get some money back uh change choose sure we'll get it again so many perks uh another phd slide that we've already got this one. Oh yeah this is our double buy one which is nice sliding just absolutely obliterating my screen i love it screw it let's hit the box again actually i kind of want to get something a bit different you know like a full auto gun oh, or a ballistic knife i suppose god is it actually going to be a one hit though it is wait damn ethereal razor op i can't i can't pick up the five seven what why can i not pick up the gun there we go oh i have mule kick don't i ah i see another perk don't mind if i do another why do i have two tombstones why do I have two tombstones? What does that mean? That is something I thought I would never see and I really didn't want to see, but hey, we got more five sevens. Should I recreate my uh, my video that I did back in the day? So now we have two five sevens here and a five seven here. So three five sevens. Bit of a mouthful, but I don't know. It's cool. We're holding three of the same gun. It's not every day you can say that, you know? Also, I don't know what this is, but I bought it. Something called Daminade, which is a cool name. Don't get me wrong, but what the hell does it mean? Double points. Oh my God. They're all just frozen. One zombie left. Nice. I mean, we bought everything, right? Wait, what perk was up here again? Oh yeah. PhD. Right, right, right. Well, on to the next one. Hey, double tap. I can buy it again, which is just massive because obviously, you know, even more bullet damage. Swarm scotch, occasional headshots. Uh, oh yeah, the, the spawns in insects, which is just a really weird idea, but I like it. We'll double buy it because why not? So if I, am I going to start? Like the insects reminds me of, um, you remember the BO3 campaign? You have that one specialist thing you could use that would spawn like nano swarms. That was actually a really cool idea, not going to lie. And I mean, you know, the BO3 campaign is nothing special, but it's not bad. Also, I love how the zombies appear as these little arrows on the, on the screen <laughs> after you buy death perception. That's cool. Oh my God. So many drops. Well, we've got a double points. We've got a perk. <laughs> Just manipulating the, uh, the systems. Oh, a nuke. That's so cool. Imagine if I turn this into... Another double or a, okay, a death machine, sure. That'll do, I suppose. Can't exactly complain. What is this glitched out zombie? This isn't actually an alive zombie. It's just sort of like here. Very strange. Uh, bandolier bandit, even more ammo. Let's go. Screw it. And now we randomly refill ammo as well. Oh, so good. Oh no, this perk's going. No, buy it quick. Okay, good. I got it. I don't even know what it was. <laughs> I just wanted to buy it. We've got Dying Wish now. One of the best perks in the game. What's this? Have full health after invincibility. Very nice. That's literally the um the bonus that you get for having it in your fourth perk slot on BO4. Double by Nuka Cola. Picking up power-ups can spawn a second guaranteed with nuke power-ups. Wait, it spawns another power-up. You're kidding. That's <laughs> that's OP. And also a really high chance of breaking the game. And I just saw it happen. That's actually so cool. Oh, but it gave me a nuke. Tragic. Oh, free perk. There we go. That's PhD slider again. That's elemental pop. Oh, an insta kill. Imagine if I turned it into a double points. Let's go. What am I getting hit by? Christ. Oh, this is such a cool mod, man. It's so... <sighs> Something about it is just awesome. What we got here? Vigor Rush. Even more damage. Sure, we'll double buy that. I don't know how many perks I actually bought in the last time we played the uh, the 50 perk mod or the 
technically 98 perk mod, but I think we got a good 70 plus. Currently, I think, I don't actually know how many this is. This is a lot. Packer box, a chance to get a packer punched weapon from the mystery box. Like, what? Chan higher chance to get another one and repapped. Oh, brilliant. This is so freaking cool, bro. Oh, and here we go. Death perception showing me where the zombie is. The only difficult part is the fact we don't have double upgraded stamina up yet. So running around, oh, here we go. Quick revive, boom. What does double buying actually do? Oh, you can't. I suppose maybe that makes sense. A double buy ice ball. Oh, I accidentally got that new crap. Oh, well, I just love that this one zombie is still hit. Bro is just chilling. He, he really is literally chilling because he's frozen. Ha ha, so funny. All the perks on the map we've already got. Okay, well, we just go to the next round. That's basically all we're doing right now. I'm going to just keep on trying to buy as many perks as possible. And then I guess we'll... Uh, carry on until we go to i almost got that free perk fuck double points don't mind if i do i feel like getting the free perk is better than oh speaking of which <laughs> down as delight i think that is i was gonna say i feel like it's better than getting the double points but i don't want to swap it out because there's a chance that we might just lose both and then not get anything so i'd rather have a double points you know all right oh another quick revive so yeah you definitely cannot double buy that double tap we've already got what's this victorious tortoise we've already got that even though it's literally useless um whatever this is ecstatic elixir sure attack tequila we've already got that okay so all the perks again we have them all so now we just hope for uh, a perk power up that's basically how the mid game goes in terms or well, the mid round is we're just looking for power ups so we can potentially turn them into perks or double points i'll take that you know but we do have seventeen thousand points so it's not necessarily needed 30 zombies left really oh yeah <gasps> the bugs hey let's go they're like slowly damaging them they, they don't kill them but you know it's, it's nice to have someone you know someone that has my back or i guess some things hundreds of little tiny insects <laughs> oh here we go free perk there we go and a max ammo i mean sure another free perk and we've got a nuke that spawned and we turn that into a double point. It's like, this is so OP. Oh, and look, another perk. <laughs> it just keeps spawning bonus power-ups. And then boom, another another perk. This is how we're actually going to get them all. Boom, double by time slip. Already have death perception. What's that up there? Vulture Raid is actually really useful for, uh, for seeing all the perks, obviously. What's this? Blaze phase? Sure, I'll buy it. This mod's awesome, man. You, you seriously have to check this out if you have BO3 on PC. Like, it's just so cool, dude. So what we get? Oh, we got a max. Eh. The max ammo, like, the pickup is... It's it's a bigger power-up. So even though I was standing in the same place, it automatically got it for me. We're getting these tiny little point drops as well on the floor, which is nice. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, this game. It's so cool, dude. And this zombie is still here. Okay, the only point we didn't check was up here and we already have this okay i think we almost have all of them i don't know what we're missing actually i want to say it's something like uh, five perks we're missing because on oh, yeah five no six because i think the four rows were full and that made 50 let me just see if i can count them real quick i think there's 40 perks there and plus we have the double buys as well so technically we have like I want to say it's around 75 perks right now. Oh, and obviously there's 98. There's not 100 or whatever. So, dude, I got... Oh, muscle milk. We actually haven't got that yet, which is good. Another perk to the list. Sadly, the Wonder Fizz doesn't work. So that's why I haven't got that, because it would make it way easier, of course. I mean, should I give it a try? Uh, just, just to see. But I'm pretty sure it just continuously gives me these stupid little uh, Widow's Wines. Yeah, and then I go to drink it. And then you see on the bottom left, nothing changes. Unless it gave me a double buy, but I don't think it did. I think it's just bugged. Ooh, a free perk. Let's go. Ooh, I got that. What's it called? Uh, the chivalry perk that I forget the name of. But I think it's really good. What is this? Down as delight. Triples bleed out. <laughs> Triples? Bro, I mean, I'm already on solo. I mean, I'm kind of fine, but I appreciate the thought, you know? Oh, there we go. We've got a max. Turn this into a free perk. And we've got Winter's Whale. So yeah, we literally need like three perks. And I think we have all of them. Oh, what's this? We've already got it. There are so many that I'm just like, what actually is this? Do I have to rebuy the Galvan Knuckle? I can't even rebuy them. So I've literally just lost it because of Widow's Wine, man. Every every video makes me dislike Widow's Wine more and more, even though I, I do appreciate the perk, you know. It's not bad. It has really, really nice situations where it will just save your life. But at the same time, it just, it seems to dislike me. I got ICU. Let's go. Double bore ICU, should I say. Fighters Fizz, we've already got that. And we already have this. So yeah, again, another round of uh, 
patiently waiting. Honestly, we're getting more of them from just the free perk drops. So I guess we'll just play for that now instead of running around the map. But I don't know if the perk drops will give you double buys or if you have to do that to the machine itself. Well, so you know, I guess we'll find out. It's kind of hard to see because there's so many perks. Like if I get one, I can't, you know, see which one's going to suddenly have a yellow border. You know, <laughs> there's just too many. Could you imagine if I could turn these little pouches and stuff that we get from Vulture Raid into perks? That would be ridiculous but oh here we go death machine turn you yep there we go free perk bottle what's this one gonna be we got magnet okay a double points i just accidentally got it <laughs> i just walked into it sometimes you just can't help yourself you know so there's only two perks we haven't got what actually are they i mean i know we had the double phd so maybe it's something like that i don't know zomb shell wait we don't have double buy for that okay progress ethereal razor we already have that my ray gun is starting to uh, not deal too much damage yeah it looks like we got every perk again okay back to the drawing board i'm genuinely running low on ammo so if i could get like a uh, a death machine or something that would actually be very appreciated right now or if i just pick up some ammo on the floor you know that works too i may have to train these zombies up random zombies are getting electrocuted which is nice we've got so many clumped together this should surely give me something Oh, I got a nuke. I mean, maybe it's for the best, actually. I'm going to quickly... We have 50k points, bro. I'm going to pack a punch to five sevens. Why not, you know? There's no double pack on this map, which is interesting. I don't necessarily mind. I mean, you know, it is what it is. Oh, yeah, we don't need double pack, do we? Because we've got um, change choose and elemental pop both seem to apply it, which is nice. Oh, that's so cool. Just the random headshot explosions sometimes as well, which is nice. <laughs> These guns are so sick. I keep picking up the drops, man. Uh, we've got a free perk. And we need one more. Round 30. When we fill up this the rows, I'll call it a video, I think, just because I'd love to get all the double buys, but there's just so many that it's just going to be incredibly difficult. Jesus Christ. Sliding with explosions and everything. <laughs> My screen. My poor screen. Nitrogen cooled. We already have that. Oh, there goes all the Reagan ammo. Oh, we're actually getting some for just having it stowed, which is really nice. Oh, and that's the final free perk. The purple fire, whatever that means. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Uh, double buy this. Can't double buy quick revive, but we can double buy vulture raid. So we'll go and do that real quick. Uh, move out the way, zombies. Move out the way. Not even breaking a sweat, bro. And hey, look at this. My ray gun's just got 10 ammo now, which is nice. But what is double buying this? Power ups give double the rewards, and the stink effect lasts longer. Nice. That's cool. So we should get more ammo and points from the zombies, then I guess. Uh, I, I can't even see my screen right now, bro. <laughs> Oh, this mod is chaos. So I love it. We've got a max. And now we've got another perk. I'm assuming that upgraded something, but maybe it didn't. Insta-kill. Well, that's a fast way to end the round, isn't it? I love how my points are weirdly odd. Like 65155. I don't know. Oh, that must be from Vulture Raid, right? Because it gives you like five points, I think. Gives you an odd number. What is that? Oh, bowling. I was like, what? What is BW Ling? Well, I want to say that's all she wrote. So thank you all for watching. If you've enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out this video on screen. YouTube says you might like it. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. And thanks for all the support on the previous video. It just, it's just absolutely insane. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.